right. Oh. Well, welcome back. <laughs> I didn't know what you're going to say. I didn't even to, know how you have the strength to say what you're saying. To a very somber. I know. I, mm, episode. It is. It's of sad. the Midwest Sports very Show. Very sad. But you know what, Gene? Uh, right, it's you're not. Carry on. We're not gonna uh, mourn the death mm, of the I, 2018 Milwaukee Brewers well, season. Well, the good thing I we're gonna celebrate the oh, rebirth. Okay, because this of might the be 2019. The, yeah, this Milwaukee might. Well, Brewers. then, then that I can't have that because that would be the Cubs. But I will say, you have to knock on the door. Remember, 2015, the Cubs got swept in the the championship series against the Mets and then the next year they won the World Series now I don't I got to be honest I don't want that to happen to the Brewers I did this year but now that it's over uh you're on your own again next year but uh I even when they lost when they when they lost game seven I didn't know what to do I (laughs) I didn't know if I should because I thought Uh, if I texted you did you go to did you go to sleep Gene Later yeah, on. Yeah, it's not okay. Okay. Right. I did. <laughs> okay. I did. All right. No, there you but go. I, I didn't know if I should text you and say, Hey dude, I'm sorry. But then you'd think, Oh, you're just you're <laughs> you're not serious. You're just being I don't need to hear from you right now. <laughs> yeah, Gene, so, I got other things on my mind. Uh I'm a Cubs you, fan. I left uh, you with I left you with your thought. But I was certainly I think it's a Marlins man. Who's he rooting for well, anyway? All right, we will get into all that. Marlins man and Eminem man. I don't know where this Eminem man. Yeah, I saw that guy. I showed. Too. I have seen him around though. I'll tell you next before. year a uh, little less of. Uh, you got to keep. You got to keep Marlins man. I bet you he'll be. He'll be for sure at Dodger games, and he'll probably be at. Well, the hopefully Boston he'll games. be in Boston. So I think so. We'll see about that. Well, Gene, we have a lot to talk about, including you were, you were in my thoughts. Though. Well, Gene, we should. S- <laughs> okay, all right, thanks. <laughs> uh, this is the Midwest Sports Show. Okay, we should get that off uh, yeah. our chest right now. And uh, my name is Chris Stotts, Hello. one half, and the second half is Gene Steichen. It was a good day for me, though. The cup, the Iowa, we beat Maryland. We <sighs> shut them out, twenty-three nothing. So bring on Penn State. That's what we played at. Well, did did the uh, Iowa coach <laughs> threaten to uh, train the guys like the Maryland coaches? Oh no, train them. You know what? They still haven't fired. That guy's still on leave. They better the boosters. Not the back. boosters want that guy coming they, back. They can't. They. They can't bring that guy back. I protest. Well, that is a – it's a Big 12. Is it the Big 13 now? Or what is no, it? What no, are they called? The, the Big 16? The Big 10's got 14 It's the Big 10. Teams. Yeah. How Big 10. Teams? We have – we have <clears throat> but, four, four – I think – But, Gene, I'm old school. 14. I will never consider Maryland to be in the Big 10. I'm sorry. Well, Maryland and Rutgers. And Rutgers you guys what are they can even go, doing in the Big 10? You can go uh, shove a lobster yeah. crab cake up your ass. All Th- right? Thank you for that. And then everyone says, well, uh, lobster you Lobster need- biscuit. Yeah, you need Rutgers because you get the New York market. Hey, listen, nobody in New York <laughs> is watching Rutgers. Rutgers unless is in, you're in P- Rutgers P- is in New York. Yeah, uh, no, is it's it in a, New Jersey. Is it? Isn't it? I don't. I have no. I don't know where any of these Ivy League it's schools in, are. But they they consider that the New York market. The only thing I know about Rutgers is James Gandolfini went there. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah? But the rest. How did that end? How did that turn up? For him. Oh, he had issues. <laughs> he had problems, but he's very good at it. Yeah, it didn't last long. All right. Well, Gene, this is not uh Oh shit on Rutgers. <laughs> original thirteen colonies yeah. uh conference, whatever that oh. was. Uh this is uh the Midwest Sports Show, and we're gonna talk about some Midwest sports. Oh, okay. Uh including the Brewers. The Brewers oh. demise, uh baseball season. And listen, I know uh, not a lot of Brewers fans are listening to this podcast, that listen to this podcast. I know there's a lot of uh, other fans yeah, but I, that I, listen I, for the schadenfreude. Oh. Schadenfreude. And uh, let me just say up front, there will be none of that. No schadenfreude. Don't none of that tonight. You don't kick – listen, a lo- I, I listen to a lot <laughs> of Chicago sports radio, and they're like, you can't root for the Brewers. They're a rival. I go, yes, I will root for the <laughs> Brewers, even though I live in L.A. You're like, really, Zany J? Actually, yeah. I can What's wrong with rooting for your neighbors? Milwaukee's a great city. Well, Gene, oh. you're from Iowa, so it's not like yeah. you're not really from Illinois or Wisconsin. And, 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 so there you yeah, go. Yeah, no, I'm neutral. And plus, their stadium, the 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 Bucks' new stadium, looks pretty nice. Yeah. And they had already last week they had Metallica, Foo Fighters, and somebody else. They, so they're right, gonna I'm sure that goes directly to the ta- taxpayers, right? I don't know. Or it goes to the uh, I don't venue know what staff? Wisconsin's okay. doing. Right. Yeah. All right, well, Gene. Uh, we got that, including uh, NFL Week 7. 
Okay. Including the big matchup between uh, Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. Oh, that was ugly. And, I mean, uh, it was close. But Mitch Trubisky. Uh, I call him a young Tom Brady. I don't know. M- Mitch Trubisky. I, I don't know if you can go that. He missed. What? Okay. And, and Matt Nagy. I call him a young Brian, uh, Bill Belichick. Well, you better hope so. But. 50 passes and you you missed 24 of them. That he threw 50 passes. Yes, he was 26 Good Lord. for 50. And one was that miracle last pass. So okay, we will get to all that. Okay, we'll get to all that. We don't want to go that quick. And then we got a little uh, NCAA AA football, oh, college, well, college football. State, I watch him, including the Ohio State. That means it could be another year without the Big Ten in the Final Four, unless Michigan wins out. Uh, unless That's Maryland right. uh, somehow sneaks Maryland's, in. Yeah, from they're the ACC. They're, decent, they're a decent team. But let's get something straight. They, they, they have done some bad things. <laughs> And they need to well, they're killing, reckon they're killing, with the killing their kids. That's uh, that's yeah. pretty bad. All right, well, Gene, let's talk kids. to uh, let's talk about uh, more positive okay. things. Uh, game six. That was great of the National Gosh, League Championship a Series great environment. And by the way, go back and listen to our Thursday night episode right. where we uh, talk after game uh, the the series in uh, Dodgers in uh, L.A. And you can hear about my uh, experience going to uh, Dodger Stadium for right, game right. Uh, four, right? Yes. It's hard to keep which track. You had to wait for your friend, which I would, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and well, so you missed the beginning. <laughs> which, and guess what? I had to wait for my friend for game seven, too. I was waiting outside his wow. house. Uh, I th- his family decided it was a good time to take uh, photographs at the beach. Oh, uh, no. One hour before the uh, National League Championship wow. Series of your favorite baseball team. Uh, I guess that's married life, Gene. You just got to oh, make the And that game, well, the make Brewers the scored happen. first. Y'all All right, well, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Oh, okay. Let's get ahead of ourselves. Right. So, game six, six. I'll tell you what, this was on a Friday. I'll tell you what, Gene, uh, I was actually fairly nervous yeah, about this game. Yeah, Almost uh, about as nervous yeah. as game one. I'll tell you one thing about uh, Cubs being eliminated. It's easier to watch games because when I watched them, when they were in these games, it was, it was nerve-wracking. It was hard to breathe. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, um, Dodgers did not look good right away. Dodgers hit a home run mm-hmm. off. Uh, was it Wade Miley or I, I can't remember who was pitching? I think it was Wade Miley. Yeah. Yeah. He pitched till the fifth. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then it was looking bad uh, right away. Uh, but then uh, Milwaukee Brewers offense actually came alive, and uh, Jesus hits in two runs, and then Moose hits a double, Kratz, and blah blah blah, and uh, off the races. And Brewers are looking pretty good. Uh, they win the game 7-2. They were great. And it was such a great environment. Although, I must say, having Marlins man right on camera for every pitch is so distracting. Yeah. And, and he ruins, He doesn't ruin the atmosphere because it was fantastic. But he, he, he adds You're always looking at him. him. You're always looking and at him. And you're like, get out of the, Get out of here, Marlins Well, and man. plus, uh, you know, he's, he's, uh, he was talking to Amy, front row Amy. Oh, was that? After Amy? the while. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, Marlins, man, don't you realize that oh. 500,000 men already have claim to uh, front she, row? She's Amy? not married. She just, <laughs> I don't know. Dang, well, there, she... there's not a front row uh, Tom. Yeah. I've never seen him. Has she hooked up with Yelich yet? <laughs> Yelich is so nice. He yeah. he, he he's a gentleman. Group. He would never he, take yeah, it. Yeah, he, and he's so youthful. Oh, the Brewers. Yeah. They, that was an exciting game. So that was good. So that was, that was very good uh, and looking very good because the you know, Brewers were really a big slump and really not getting anything yeah. uh, here in L.A. or uh, game uh, two for that matter. That and then so, – I'm sorry. Go ahead. When they won game six, is that what you're going to say? I was going to say I would bet anything, although I didn't bet anything, uh, that Brewers would win game seven because they so, had so much momentum. If they looking good. Right away. Yeah, it looked like yeah. they're out of the slump. And Hater, they didn't even use Hater on game yeah, six. which was great as so, well. So uh, yeah. a full force Hater who had several days of rest. Mm-hmm. Uh, pretty good. Well, game seven. Oh, here we uh, go. And Marlins man. Oh. I, I'm going through my notes here, Gene. Marlins man, again, is uh, sitting there. And, again, uh, Eminem man. Yeah, I saw that guy. I think That's it's like, like a NASCAR. Where, who's this guy? Oh, I know. It it's like a NASCAR. NASCAR. I, I think he's uh, at, at a lot of these brewery games, actually, because yeah. I think I've yeah. seen him a lot. But uh, I think he you – know, Gene, this is how the uh, the business world uh, networks. You yeah. see Marlins, man, all of these games, so you think to yourself, okay, how much is it going to get to cost to get that ticket right, right next to him? You make a calculated risk, and uh, I'm sure Eminem, man, and Marlins, man, Mm-hmm. Uh, signed a business deal uh, in between the sixth inning or something like that. So I don't know. Or maybe they, uh, you know, did rock, paper, scissors to see who would take out uh, Amy later that wow. night. I don't know. But uh, a lot of uh, discussion going on. 
What do you think Marlon, the first Marlon's row. man is a lawyer? He needs never. When does he ever? Uh, yeah, wh- when client, is the lawyer? In? Yeah, I know. If I was, I'd be like, hey, buddy. If I was one of his clients, I'm sure he's very expensive. Yeah. He lives in Miami. But like, who, and, who's your lawyer? Oh, I got Marlon's man. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> by the way, does he have billboards all around Miami? He's got, I, I With him know. and his like uh, orange, you know, I call yeah. Marlins man. He'll 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 fight for you. Yeah. And meanwhile, I, yeah. he's like behind uh, Muncie. <laughs> I, I guess I guess people know he's a lawyer. Maybe it's good for his brand. I don't know. I just don't like having him at a game because it's 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 so great. It's all Brewers, and then you got him. We're not all well, Brewers. Just, There's just some Dodgers. Get, not many. Wear some Brewers gear or something yeah. like that. So. And then also before I forget, on <clears throat> Saturday game seven Saturday. Bucky Badger dressed up as uh, Bernie the Brewer at the football game. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yep. So things were uh, looking good for the yeah. Brewers coming in. Uh, in fact, Yelich, Christian mm-hmm. Yelich, hits a home run. That was great. In the first inning, looking that pretty good. Uh, but Cody Billinger yeah. responds the next inning. That hits a two-run shot. home run. And, uh, yeah, not good. Uh, jo- Yossis Jossin. Yeah. Uh, who's been a really great pitcher for the Brewers, is taken out after two innings, and then Hader comes in for like he three innings. He was great. Uh, putting, pretty much putting up yeah, zeros all over the great. place. Yep. And then, uh, you know, there was a little bit of momentum, and then there's this crazy play where I think it was Yelich hit, like, uh, uh, hit the ball really far oh my up God. against the wall. And then uh, Taylor, what's his Taylor, name? Taylor, Chris Taylor. Chris Taylor. That was amazing. Catches the ball. Makes, uh, and he wasn't even – he plays like infield, I, right? I know, right. And he didn't. He didn't even think that was his. He thought that was the center fielder who's going to get it. And then all of a sudden he dives for it. He I'm basically miraculous. threw his hand up, and oh the ball went God. to his glove. And that was you, at the time you're like, "Wow, that really sucks." But yeah. uh, looking back on it, that probably would have changed the game. Yeah. Uh, completely. So. Yeah. And then I think uh, Dodgers. I think it was the next inning, and the Dodgers come up, get two guys on. They got, they got and, uh, I think Jeffries, is it Jeffries? Yeah, Jeffries uh, yeah, gives up a three-run home run to Before Puig. he gave up the home run, I was watching him. I go, he looks too intense. <laughs> I yeah, too a little pumped crazy. up. Yeah, I mean, too much coffee. He's doing too much staring. How about a little more pitching and a little less yeah. staring? Who, I don't know. who are you, Bumgarner? <laughs> Madison Bumgarner? <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, but, yeah. uh, you know, again, I think it was one of those situations where he threw a good pitch and then uh, the Dodger player just hit it really well yeah. uh, because, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Council kept him in for, like, another couple batters. So, yeah. uh, I, Council I, did everything he could. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't think, you know, you, you look at that and say, okay, well, you should have pulled him and blow, blah, blah, right, but right. we don't know, like, what pitches are they hitting and which are they not hitting. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. mean, like, literally hitting, like, what pitch is the pitcher hitting on the corners and right. the speed and all that stuff. So, I mean, you got yeah. Hater. Hater got three innings with no run. So, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't mind that move. I mean, you, you want to have no more runs scored, uh, have your right. best guy right. in there. He can go a long time. You don't want to wait until the eighth inning yeah, or something like that. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I mean, the big problem is that the Brewers just couldn't score. They scored only one run in the whole game. Yeah, and Yelich, uh, even though he hit that home run, he wasn't great. In the series, yeah, he, he, was he so had, hot. He had a really bad series. I think uh, you know he's a young player. The MVP talk probably yeah. got to him, and he just uh, yeah. didn't he have sure, play that good. That sure didn't get when they were playing the Cubs uh, for the division and stuff. They maybe a lot of pressure then too, but that didn't get to him. He yeah. was just crazy well, good. Yeah, uh, so, good. so again, if you think I don't know, and you look at some of the stats like the OPS, the strikeouts, the left on base, I mean, the stats between the two uh, teams are like almost identical. It's mm-hmm. actually really weird. And uh, the only thing that really stands out is Jeffries. <laughs> Jeffries was yeah. pretty much the weak point. That is too bad. Um, and then you hated Puig. Oh my gosh. I yeah, and then doing the, the crotch him, yeah. chop. Oh, that was. Uh, Get some I, class I, essay. I, I know. I didn't. I, he. Oh, I don't know. No, I, I'm not. Not good. And who I, you know who I really feel bad for is uh, is Craig Council. Yeah. Because uh, as you said, he pretty much did everything he could do. It's just he the did. players just did not uh, you know perform. He set it up. He set it up for Game Seven. Uh, they had it set up how they wanted, and he just he scored they, one run. Yeah. If they could have jumped, I mean, the one run, giving up the two run homer to Bellinger. Gosh, the fans were so excited. It was. It was great. They they get it. Hey, they can. They'll be one of the favorites. Well, I mean, next again, year. you know, uh, I mean, I think they can win with a system. Like, they had to win really quick, four games, five games in a row, because as right. they said on the, uh, as John Smoltz was saying on the broadcast, I mean, when you see I and mean, when you bring up the same relievers over and over again, these guys are seeing like yep. Yep. five at bats. You yep. know what I mean? And then they're, uh, you know, they're as they're making adjustments. Out, if they could have won that thirteen inning game, wow, that would have been huge. 
or even game two at home. Well, Simmons was saying because if you go back, oh, uh, I haven't heard him Simmons was because when on his cousin Saul podcast, him and Hanch, his buddy, yeah, uh, <laughs> we're talking about other podcasts on this podcast. No, Bill he Simmons was saying that if you're retired. if you're if you're a Brewers fan. Uh, you know, that, that 13 inning game when you got uh, Machado on second, why don't you walk uh, Bellinger and all this mm. stuff? And well, they, they thought they had a good matchup yeah. and uh, the yeah. guys hit a good pitch. And by the way, Machado was almost thrown out. I mean, that yeah. was a good uh, slide by him, too. So and uh, they said, why don't you wait for Grendel? Grendel is actually a pretty good hitter. Yes. And uh, Council, I went back and Council said he would have walked him and all that stuff uh, anyways to get to the pitcher. But that doesn't mean they're not going to put a pinch a hitter on there and you got bases loaded so i mean it, it's you can't especially no. for some guy some person who's not watching the whole series and doesn't right. know blah 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 and it's, and you can't say that i mean you can't that's why you play all year you want game seven at home and they had it at home they just couldn't take advantage yeah, yeah, they but perform. they could have won and Gosh. by the way the dodgers uh payroll is what 200 million more oh, 170 way, million more way way more and listen, Machado's well, not coming back to the Dodgers anyway. And it was a, a, a terrible matchup for the Brewers because they have they have four what four three left-handed starters. Mm-hmm. I mean that's nuts. Yeah, I so, and, they, and they'll be one of the favorites next year. So well, I, it's, uh, it's just crazy. I mean, it's, they uh, they could have been. Can you imagine being a player and going through all that and just oh my god, it, it it, it's got to be terrible. Game seven. You got it, yeah, yeah. And then, Gina, I know for me, like I, I, I'm, I've kind of matured at this point. I'm not gonna let a sports team like determine my uh, happiness. I, I or try sadness. To, I try to do that too. So it was, uh, but I, when I woke up on Sunday, I was like, damn. Yeah. It's over. No more, no more Brewers. No I, more Brewers. I felt bad because I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, it sucks. And then I, I try to remind myself, yeah, don't let your life be run by results, but. Ah, it's hard not to. Well, you spend then, three hours, then, six days a week. And the fans were so, gosh, they were so ready. Yeah, there's a lot of great moments. I uh, I went to a lot of games this season and a lot of fun. So it was uh, definitely a good season. Well, I will see them play uh, <laughs> the opening In series. Arizona? Okay. No, right. no. We're going to hear about I'm, this every week uh, no, now for the next No, I'm going to see uh, the Cubs in Milwaukee April. I think it's April 5th, one of the first yep. games. Well, so. so Jimmy Nelson should be back. I can't believe Jimmy Nelson never came back uh, for the mm-hmm. whole year. So his shoulder must have been really screwed up. Uh, he'll be back. Uh, you know, uh, Wade Miley, uh, he, not, he's not going to be back. But uh, Woodruff, right. uh, Freddie Peralta. I mean, I think they're going to have a pretty what good starting. What are the chances you sign Machado? Would you say no, no, zero? No. I don't. I, I'm not. I hope the Cubs. They would. Sign they him. would pull a uh, Saudi uh, ambassador uh, embassy. Yeah. On him. They're like, yeah, come I, on in, Machado. Come I, on in. Uh, let's want, talk about your visa. I don't want the Cubs to and sign then, him. And then all of a sudden, the Turkish is saying uh, he got chopped out with a bone saw. Yeah. In Miller Park. He uh, he did not impress me. The way he behaved, <laughs> I didn't like it at all. So I hope the Cubs. I think. Well, they're what's up with this hair? Right oh, okay. What's going on with I this know. haircut? His ears are All weird. Right. Listen, I'm maybe an old, old white guy here, <laughs> but uh, what's up with that guy's hair? Yeah. It's like, what's going on here? I don't know. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so good luck. I don't know who's going to sign him. I don't think the Yankees want him. They're already loaded at all those positions. And well, uh, they, Dodgers he was gonna, no one from the AL East is going to sign him, right? Because no. he uh, burned all his bridges. And uh, then you the know? Dodgers, they got they got uh, uh, what's his name coming back? They're they're all star shortstop who missed a whole year. So and then I don't think the Cubs are very. I I'm just saying I don't think they love him. It would be. <laughs> I think he hurt himself during that the series the way he acted and and some of the stuff he said. Well, I, I think it's uh well according to uh, what's his face uh, the GM for the Cubs Theo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure his stock went way up when he started uh, messing around with the Brewers. He's like, "Wow, I can I can have this guy play the mm. the, the Brewers 13 games a year, I think, or 12, uh, 11, I whatever think, it is." Uh, it's gonna be Bryce Harper, maybe or nothing. Okay. We'll see. I don't know. Bring them all on. Doesn't matter. Yeah. All right. So things are uh, all right. That should be good. But God damn, we gotta do this again next year. See, that's what April sucks. April 1st. That's what sucks. And you go to spring training at late February, and you think we're so far away from getting back to where and, we are. Yeah, were. Gene, when you get that tease, just that, know, that taste, the well, taste of that's it. That's why it's kind of amazing. The Dodgers lost game seven in the World Series, and then they had to wait all year, and now they get a chance. Can but we, the, the chances of getting back there are so hard. We just it's skip so to September next year and just yeah. give everyone 90 wins. Just I know. That's what I was saying. <laughs> I, 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 exactly. That's how I feel because you go, gosh, you got to go through this all again. Give just every, to try okay. to get back. Give everyone 50 <laughs> wins, and let's start the season in July, okay? Well, I mean, is that so difficult? Yeah. What's yeah. so bad about that? Mm. Right, give everyone 30 wins, 30 losses. Let's start in May. 
At least right. they have a win, though. They at Something least like they got a win. All right, World Se- Series preview. I, I don't give a fuck yeah. anymore. I know. I, I, I don't know. Uh, now I have to root for the uh, Boston now. Yeah. Thanks, Dodgers. Appreciate it. I don't. I don't really. I mean, Dodgers. They we're, we live here, and they haven't won in thirty years. So you got that. And Boston's won now three times in the last four times years. in twenty this years. This would be the. This would be their fourth time in fourteen years. Yeah. That's too much. Yeah, that's it's all right. Stop, stop the win. All right, Gene. Oh, by the way, World Baseball. Series tickets surprisingly affordable in Boston. Right now, oh, yeah. two days before the game. Now it's one day. Tickets were only five hundred dollars for game one, and I'm thinking, geez, that's that's light. I don't know. <laughs> that's not a lot Can't... for a World Series game. Not Boston. They've been there. Okay. Anyway, yeah. go. John is says five years ago, and the Sox are back. I care. Thank oh, you. okay, John. Yes. Okay, then I, because of John, <laughs> uh, John Ennis. Uh, yes, of course. Right, I forgot. Go. I didn't. Right, I forgot to factor in. I forgot to factor in. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure Chris Sale will pitch great. Yeah. I'm sure. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, what? I'll, he, I'll he had say, a be- belly button uh, ring? Gene, have yeah, you I ever heard know. of belly button ring? What I'll say this, this about, about Boston. I really want him. I, I felt bad for him in 86. And then I'm glad they won three titles. But, okay, now I'll root for him. But I don't like David Price. I got to say that. But I don't like Manny Machado either. I, or, or Puig, the way they acted. That's all. They, they, so okay, Boston. Okay, John. So there you yeah, go. You're let's go. For Boston. All right. And Gene, you know what the worst thing is Why? about the the Brewers losing mm. is that the next day I had to watch the Bears oh. play football. That's I the watched worst thing. them. That you watched the New England game. against Chicago. You yeah. watch you watch that game. Well, there's yeah. no uh, no no ten o'clock showing of uh, cats. No. At the Pantages or what? I usually go to the theater on Sundays. Uh, no, my next musical is The Bronx Tale, so. Uh, no, I watched them. I was kind of, I was pretty excited because the city was well, excited. The bear, I, I'll tell you what, the Bears competed. And I, it, I guess you can say that. Yeah, kind of. Their defense wasn't very good. Well, I'll tell you what, John, uh, Gene, the uh, the broadcast uh, brought mm-hmm. all of the Chicago stereotypes because you you know they got the big uh, New England national audience. So uh, yeah. it's in Chicago. You got your uh, Chicago style pizza. Oh, I saw you that. Saw that? When you saw that? They did that. You always yeah. got to see that. Oh, yeah. Chicago style pizza. Lou and, Malnati's. And then uh, also, um, they showed uh, the Super Bowl 20 highlights, the 85 Bears. Okay. Yeah. They show the 85 Bears highlights, James. Yeah, so, uh, I know. When uh, against, the, against the Patriots. It's only now been 33 years. <laughs> Is it 30, 33? How many of those, how many of those players are years. dead? How many players are those still alive? That's the question. Uh, they have a few still running around. But I. I Okay, everything. Oh yeah, yeah. So I won't say anything. Okay, uh, for for our friend John, I'll say this. Yeah, good job, Patriots. They're good. I thought the Bears would be able to play with them, but they kind of did. But they really they're in a different they they're in a different class. Well, Gene, so. from my unexpert opinion, uh, Bill Belichick. Yeah. He yeah. pretty much forced the Bears to uh, f- make make Trubisky throw. Trubisky. They're, he, they're defending against the run. He was, and that's he, the game plan. He threw two interceptions, but he was twenty six of fifty. That means he missed it twenty four times. Not a lot. Well, I don't know. Is it uh, good? a lot? A lot of completion. I'm saying is he threw it a lot. <laughs> I don't know. He's okay. He's good. Kind of. He's young. Well, I, I mean, know. he's making plays with his feet and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, that was a great run. He, yeah. he gets these big hits. I mean, do you really want your uh, number one draft pick just getting uh, no, banged up no, all the time no, and running? No. By the way, they have like three great running backs, right? So, yeah. I mean, what I would do. They didn't yeah, run. Why, don't they, why aren't they doing some Marshall Falk type I, stuff? I, I don't like, know. Like, good they, God. They didn't run yesterday. They only ran, uh, yeah, Tree Cohen and uh, Jordan Howard. They, yeah, not a lot. And, and let me ask you this, Gene. Uh, he doesn't throw a lot. Uh, they they're not asking him to throw a lot. Uh, does he have, of all the starters for every single game, does he have the least? I know he threw 50 a, at the mm-hmm. end. But does that he probably have way. the least amount of attempts by any other player? I, I think quarterback? He, this game was a lot. He hasn't thrown that much before. Yeah. He, has, he They don't throw. Yeah, that's a lot, 50. No, yeah. he's probably in the middle somewhere. Well, the defense kept you guys alive. Mm, and, uh, they were forced, great, though. Well, he forced a couple of uh, fumbles, including a mm. fumble of uh, Brady. And uh, yeah. you, you almost destroyed right. uh, Michael's or Michelle, Michael's yeah. uh, ankle. 
uh, in the process or knee. Yeah, that was rough. Oh, luckily, no structural da- That's what you want to hear the next day. No structural yeah, damage. Just just, just, just enough pain to fumble the ball, he for sure. Was, yeah, the Bears, I don't know. And I'll tell you what, Gene, they were, uh, Trubisky ran a couple of uh, drives. Yeah. Uh, and uh, watching him uh, throw a fade route mm-hmm. into the end zone, Gene, at the end there, uh, at least near the end, uh, not pretty. Yeah. Not pretty. Those those he fade misses. routes are already pretty bad. Well, but, uh, the, th- the thing is, which he uh, – yeah, he's good with the short. I don't know. He misses a lot of receivers. I'm just saying what I heard from other people. Not that I I would say that. I'm just saying he seems to miss a lot of uh, he. Yeah, well, throws. When you, when he you overthrows have, people a lot. When you have 24 incompletions, uh, that's not good. I mean, <laughs> he could have been 25 for 50 uh, if the, it weren't for no. The hell Bears hell. had a black punt. Yeah. And then I don't know. We see we see a, we saw a lot of these. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. Um, we saw a lot of these young quarterbacks. I thought I thought this week. Just throwing the ball up mm. into the air and getting uh, intercepted. Trubi- uh, Trubisky did like twice. Yeah, and he could near have the end there. He could have four this way. Yeah, not, not, not good. Run. And then anyway, uh, at the very end, yeah, there was a uh, really good hill mary actually. That was great. And uh, the guy, the Bears player, caught it. Kevin White. and he was literally like two yards away, and yeah. everyone's just screaming. Stick out your hands. Stick out your hands. Yeah. Like, just get it across the goal they line. They had eight guys on him. Yeah. I mean, they were – it was just a scrum. It was pretty cool, but no. It was Did not quite it was good. Cool. Were, were you pretty excited when that happened? We were like, yeah, almost that like, yeah. Yeah, that was a cool play. You, you, you thought you had a young uh, Aaron Rodgers on your team for I a second I, there, I huh? like that he could chuck it like <laughs> you that. You felt like a Green Bay Packers fan for a second. Yeah, huh? <laughs> yeah and then uh, what's up with Khalil Mack? Do they say his name uh-huh. more than once? I, How many he tackles? Had a bad game. No, well, he had one tackle. Has, has the guy been uh, touted as the best defensive he, player in football, and no two, one even the, talks about him well, the last two games? Uh, supposedly his ankles bothering him, but uh, his last two games not good. Not he hasn't done anything. <laughs> yeah. So why can't uh, they? Why can't the Packers play him? Yeah. Uh, right now. So, anyways, uh, yeah. And, you, uh, and and the Bears are not going to win the division. Ne- neither, I think, is Detroit. It's going to be Minnesota, uh, or unless Green Bay gets hot. Yeah, yeah. Well, why not? We'll see. Although they have to play we'll L.A. See. next week. Yeah, this so, week. And by the way, Tom Brady says he hates the Dodgers. He does. So there you he, go. Yeah. He has a house out here. Yeah, he's from Chicago. So he must. And I'm sorry, he's from uh, California. So he must, yeah, and he has a house in L.A. Either he must have always hated them as a kid, or just being in Boston. That I just long. like to point out, I don't hate the Dodgers. If Dodgers win, I'd be happy for him. And and same with Boston, because people from Boston are so great. I just want to say that. Okay. okay. All right. And then Detroit, Miami. I don't know. Does anyone you have anything to say about this? Mm, Detroit won. Detroit's actually playing pretty good. Yeah, Detroit is going to be. Uh, and Minnesota is playing pretty good. Aren't yeah. they? All right. And then Minnesota and New Jersey. Well, yeah, they pretty much uh, took care of uh, New Jersey. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I don't know. It's, uh, 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 jo- was his name Darnold? Josh Sam Darnold? Darnold. Sorry, Sam Darnold. Josh Allen Darnold? Josh Rosen Allen played Darnold? for Arizona. Josh Allen, he's out. He played for Buffalo. J- Sam Darnold. He's a he's a USC quarterback. He plays at the Jets. Yeah. Minnesota yeah, is going to be He looks pretty good. Now. I think hey, uh, Minnesota is winning on the road, so this is going to – they're, they're going to be tough too difficult. Now. And uh, I'll tell you what, Thielen, Adam Thielen, the guy is uh, Jordy Nelson circa yeah, 2011. Undrafted. And he went to a tiny school. I think yeah, you just got to get these lanky white guys that are fast, yeah, and uh, yeah. it should be good. And uh, make sure they have these yellow work gloves as well. So, uh, yeah, Thielen had a bunch of crazy mm-hmm. uh, catches, again, yeah. of course. And uh, I don't know. I, I think – Kurt uh, Cousins, though, I think he can be beat because this guy is fumbling a lot. Yeah. He's giving up a lot of turnovers. Yeah. So. All right. And then Cleveland, Tampa Bay. I actually saw that. Do you know what? I'm all, uh, uh, Cleveland's got to be one of my – maybe my third favorite team behind Green Bay, then the Bears, and then Cleveland. I'm going to say that. So I want them to do well, and I was hoping – but, ah, oh, darn it, they couldn't yeah, win it. I, this I is their fourth overtime game. That's too many. I think uh, you know Baker Mayfield tries very hard. Yeah, <laughs> but I is think, he good? I think, <laughs> I mean, I oh know. yeah. Oh come on. I, I I think he needs more structure. He's, he, he I seems like he's just Hugh like Jackson. trying to do I, whatever I, he can I, do. I think Hugh Jackson. Uh, it's start time to start winning some games there, Bob. Yeah. Okay. How about we have Mike McCarthy go to Cleveland, and yeah, then uh, I would take Mike McCarthy over Hugh. Jackson. Well, yeah, for sure. But then we get someone else, and then we get someone oh. else. How about that? Mm-hmm. All right, and then uh, uh, Cleveland. I mean, let's. We, everyone's talking about like how good Cleveland is. Then maybe they should win some games. That's how the about thing. That? You got to start winning. Yeah. But I like them. I love them. I. I mean, I. I like the. I like Baker. Yeah, I'm all in. Yep. Yep. All for right. sure. 
Well, Gene, uh, should we talk about some uh, unpaid uh, slave labor known as uh, college football? Iowa, what Iowa does is so special because at the end of the first quarter, and their game was on ESPN2, and then they wave to the kids, all the sick children in the hospital. Yeah. At the end of the first quarter. So uh, it's heartwarming. Uh, uh, is this some evangelical like uh, pastor stuff where it's like, walk, walk, children with cancer, walk. Well, is that what they, happens? They, they, and the kids the, get cured of cancer? The children's hospital overlooks the stadium, so... I don't know. So, <laughs> I think it's find your nice own conclusions. Thing. I think it's a nice thing. Gene, what's going. the mortality rate of that children's hospital, by the way? Oh, what, well, they, how many of those kids come back out? That's the question. Know. Well, the girl, they, they, they do this. When I was at the last game I was at Iowa, Wisconsin, they brought out, they have a kid captain from the hospital, and she had a, she was 14, and she already had a heart transplant, and I believe she had MS. So, yeah, they, they right, fight about it. She's very funny, Gene. Very funny. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. Gene, you set them up, I'll knock them down. All right, all right buddy? It, well, you got to, these kids give you hope. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I hope that? that doesn't happen to my kid, for oh, God's sakes. No, God. okay, that's terrible. All right, that's that terrible. Hey, we should all be fortunate oh, for what Ohio we got. Ohio State got steamrolled. Well, they, they got, got their ass rolled. whooped to Purdue. I watched it. Oh, my God. I, I don't care anything about college football, so pretty bad, I guess. Yeah. Was it in the horseshoe? No, it was in oh. West Lafayette. That's the biggest win Purdue's had forever. And they're good. They're really good. Yeah. So the Big Ten's pretty yeah, wide open. This is just like, uh, you know, some of these college football games, like uh, if they're not going to be in the series, just like invite like an old uh, alumni. Yeah. Like Drew Brees. You, you're telling me like Drew Brees wouldn't want to play like one game oh, he'd be for great. Purdue? He played at Purdue. I know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, yeah. you wouldn't want to play like one weekend game you know, on his off so season. Great. The, the, they're the not going to touch him. But the thing is now the Big Ten, because it's such a great conference, they're beating each other, and it'll be hard to get someone in the Final Four. So our only hope right now is Michigan. I thought this woman behind us was uh, wearing, oh. like, Halloween mask here, but that's her actual – Oh, I see. That's an actual woman right there. All I'm right. all in on Halloween, We're watching West Kentucky uh, College basketball yeah, here. Yeah, it's uh, not West, even Western Kentucky. West it's Kentucky uh, College. Technical College. Aren't you excited about Halloween? I don't go out or go to any parties, but I put up a lot of decorations. And, yep. and there's no kids come over. But yep. All right. And now, not only that, did Ohio State, uh, the Ohio State, they get a you. loss, but Nick Boza. Yeah. See, I'm sure you're all I'm, – I'm okay with that. Nick That's Boza fine. says he's not going to come try to come back. Uh, he, he, hurt, he had a abdominal strain or right, pull right. or whatever these things are called. And uh, the rehab would bring him back right, I guess, at bowl season. And he's making a business decision saying he's going to focus on the NFL draft. And, uh, yeah, I think unless you actually went to Ohio State, how right. can you have a problem uh, no. with this kid? This one, not want to do this. Because he's going to be that. He could be the number one pick. So, so is he going to work his ass off to get injured by uh, some idiot, uh, yeah. you know, well, from the Pac-10 who's right. never going pro? <laughs> you know, the punter? <laughs> You know, yeah. or something like that. Right. And uh, but I will say this, Gene, it's probably a lot easier to make the decision when your last name is Bolza. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> you know, because his yeah, brother is yeah. like one of the best uh, oh, defensive yeah, players sure. in the. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's brilliant. If his name was uh, Schwartz, probably mm -hmm. a little bit. Uh, there you go. Maybe you decide. Yeah. You not, you sum up, I'll knock them down. All right. <laughs> yeah, what about the sick kids in the hospital? Hey, oh. It was homecoming in Iowa. Anyway, the Packers come to the Coliseum this week. and. Uh, so are you going to try to go to that, Gene? I will be in Vegas, so I will not uh, be going. All right. Well, I checked our I'm going stuff to, up. I'm going. It's Sunday night. Is it Sunday night football? Sunday afternoon. No, it's like oh, 1 o'clock. Oh, it's afternoon. So, uh, but tickets were like 175 That's okay. That, that means they're going to drop. I think 100 is my yes. uh, is my max. I, I think you'll find it. Because if the Packers were better, uh, I think the prices would be way more. Because I don't know if Green Bay fans will flock out. You just get the locals. Plus, the Coliseum's so big. Yeah, I bet you. I bet the tickets will uh, drop you know, under. 100. I bet there's a lot of gr Green Bay fans. There. No, I know. I, I bet know. it might be half but, actually. But Green you're, Bay fans. you're lucky because the Coliseum's eighty-five thousand fans, yeah. and, and they well, can't Gene, sell I, I just drove by the Coliseum, kind of by USC, because I was in an yeah, Uber. Yeah, yeah. This Bank of California Stadium that they built like right next to oh, it. Have you seen beautiful. this thing? Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. You know it's, what? it's where the uh, UFC play. UFC. Yeah, Whatever LA that. LA Football Club plays. Yeah, yeah. They, they just stuff. built this thing. Like, yeah, Will Ferrell's one of the owners. And why isn't like, uh, yeah, why isn't the Chargers playing there or I, something like they, that? I, they should. Do you know what? That stadium costs three hundred fifty million dollars. That's it. 
Well, that's, that's like a, a lot. that's a bargain, isn't it? Well, I mean, well, it's Jerry's only a, World cost you build, a, well, two know, billion, but, right? But you build a thirty thousand seat soccer stadium for three hundred fifty million dollars. I think that's, that's a, I think that's well, <laughs> in the middle of uh, LS or yeah, USC. I know. It's on downtown. USC campus. It's beautiful though. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty and nice. They, and they have concerts. They're gonna have a bunch of stuff. There. Yeah, I never knew that was there. They just built that. Yeah, online, yeah, right? it's pretty new. And then they're working on Coliseum. What's the over on Donnie hey, so and Marie? So we have a third. What's that? What's the over under on Donnie and Marie? I don't. Oh yeah, know. Uh, Friday. I'm going Friday. No. Oh hey, by the way, uh, I'm I'm rooting for the uh, uh, Boston now. So Friday night, I'm going to take my mom to see Donnie and Marie in Vegas. It will be my 11th time seeing them in concert. Oh really? 11. Yep. Yep. So that's pretty you, cool. I even saw him. I saw him in L.A. Even I've seen him in Vegas every year for ten years, and then I saw him in Chicago as well. Oh yeah. So you've you've one's seen one's a little up. bit country, one's a little bit rock and roll. But so, yeah, I can't. Uh, Seven thirty Friday night at the Flamingo. Yep, I'll be there. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, Gene, don't don't give don't announce it because all the oh, fans are going to be flocking. Yeah, you're never tickets, be able to get in because I haven't bought the tickets yet. I got to watch. Oh. Hey, look, it doesn't look like we have a third co-host behind us. <laughs> yeah, that some guy, guy from West Kentucky. Yeah. All right, there you go. All right, anyway, well, that's the show. Well, I, I want to congratulate you for having the courage to carry on because it's it, it, those losses are heart wrenching. The game, especially Game Seven. Oh, yeah, it's. Uh, it's but would you it's, rather lost like that when it wasn't? You, you, the game is kind of over, three. Or do you want to? Well, lose? it sucks because you got to watch like four more innings, I know, and you're like, oh, we got twelve more outs, and then yeah, right. And then Mustaka strikes out. It's just, or ugh, or really would annoying. you rather lose dramatically? Like like a sweep? Or no, like that? no, no. Game seven where the you had two strikes and two outs on the Dodgers, and he had a home run. Oh, that's really yeah. Bad. But we we still had the bat though. But that I was know, like bottom, that was top of the eighth. So yeah, I know it's hard either way. It, it uh, sucks when you, you know again like a uh, game whatever that 13 in the game was yeah. like I, I mean whatever you're you're at home or you're away and uh they obviously have the uh that's how it was advantage. when we so. played the brewers for the divisional playoffs for the one game it was it was no. inevitable it wasn't, like, well, you just count <laughs> yeah but it was in chicago though that was, that was your i know point. that's what i'm saying we had no chance okay. brewers are good it's too All bad right. they could win the world Series. Uh, next there's always next year right that's what i don't is. know yeah well i can't see i can't be this i can't i can't cheer for you this much next year because i have to go back to cheer right. for the cubs okay okay we'll survive all right so yeah. uh for gene steichen my name is uh chris Stotz. oh goodbye it's everybody hey been... mom i'll see you soon uh thanks everyone and especially john who wrote in a bunch yeah, for john's john show with us yeah all right and uh yeah so uh you know the show is on uh facebook on gene's uh facebook i'm also loading right it here. to uh youtube so if you want to sh- watch the show on youtube it's as well and you can always get it on itunes on your favorite podcasting service so for gene steichen my name is chris Stotz. It's the Midwest Sports Show. See you guys next week. Bye.